from a mummy that appears to be wearing Adidas shoes to a prehistoric bird's claw that has remained mysteriously intact. Here are the archaeological discoveries that scientists still don't understand. In 1971, workers were building an air raid shelter for a hospital, but everything did not go as planned. The reason? Well, the workers were digging in the Mawangui Hill, located in the Hunan province, China, where they made a discovery that was, to say the least, unprecedented. They had just uncovered the tomb of Jin Zhui, also known as Lady Dai, a Chinese noblewoman of the Han Dynasty, whose particularity is obviously not to have been rich. Indeed, during the archaeological excavations, the scientists found, to their great surprise, that the woman, who died in 163 BC, was surprisingly in perfect condition. So much so that her skin was soft and moist, while her muscles still allowed flexion of her arms and legs at the joints. And that's not all. Her internal organs were also still intact. But how is this possible, you might ask? For the moment, the mystery is not entirely solved. Nevertheless, what is certain is that the mummy, Xin Zhui, was wrapped in about 20 layers of tissue before being immersed in a red-colored fluid whose content is not entirely known. However, it contained a large quantity of mercury, considered at the time as an elixir of long life. Everything was thought out so that Lady Dai's body would survive the ages, and it must be said that it worked. In 2015, archaeologists from the Koved Museum discovered a mummy more than 1,000 years old in the Altai Mountains in Mongolia. So far, nothing so extraordinary. However, this mummy quickly made the buzz on the internet. Why? Simply because the body was wearing boots that looked like Adidas, the brand with three stripes. What to surprise more than one person on the web? The internet users have been numerous to comment this amazing find. One of them even wrote, with humor, this mummy will be sued for counterfeiting by Adidas, while others have rather assured that the corpse found had traveled in time. Of course, this is not the case. Indeed, experts have since conducted countless in-depth studies to uncover the secrets of this incredible mummy. Finally, they were able to establish several findings. First of all, it was about a woman of about 30 years old who, as you can imagine, was rather coquettish. Then, they found objects of sewing, attesting that she was probably a seamstress. This would explain the atypical and modern appearance of her elegant boots. However, if these shoes are certainly not of the Adidas brand, as a good number of people wanted to believe it, it is nevertheless necessary to admit that the young woman had taste. According to popular belief, the bikini is a modern creation, but in reality, this garment would not date from yesterday. The proof is in these mosaics found in the Roman villa of Casale, located in southern Sicily. Dating from the early 4th century AD, this villa has about 30 rooms decorated with 3,500 square meters of exceptional mosaics. These mosaics tell the daily life of the rich inhabitants of the Roman Empire. They include scenes of hunting, fishing, and chariot races. However, the mosaics that have most marked the minds are without a doubt those of women in bikinis. And the least we can say is that they wear their name well. Indeed, they represent young women dressed in a two-piece outfit, similar to the modern bikini, invented tens of centuries later. However, this avant-garde garment was primarily intended for sports practices, as shown in these mosaics in which we can see these women with weights, running, playing with a ball, or simply receive a reward for their performance. It is therefore not without reason that the Villa of Casale, listed as a World Heritage Site by UNESCO, regularly attracts many visitors from around the world. After all, these are mosaics for the least amazing. In 1986, archaeologists led an expedition deep into the network of caves of Mount Owen in New Zealand, without imagining that they were about to make a discovery as strange as terrifying. And yet, they had stumbled upon an incredible claw with flesh and muscle still attached. No, you are not dreaming. Of course, the archaeologists thought, at first sight, that the animal had died recently, despite its probably disproportionate dimensions. However, after having carried out several analyses in a laboratory, they quickly realized that the claw was actually 3,300 years old. That's all. It belonged to a species of prehistoric bird called moa, which could reach up to 3 meters high and measure more than 200 kilos. Today, this animal has completely disappeared from the surface of the planet. This obviously does not explain why this claw could remain intact for thousands of years. It is still a mystery. Nevertheless, we imagine that the climate of the caves played a determining role in its mummification. Scotland is an unusual country, and not only for its locks, its reddish moors, or its haunted castles. To this list should also be added the enigmatic stone balls that are no less than 5,000 years old. Discovered by archaeologists during the excavation of a prehistoric tomb near the beach of Tresnes on Sunday, 
These two mysterious stone spheres, no bigger than a basketball, are a real enigma for researchers. Not because they are perfectly spherical, but especially because neither their origin nor their utility have yet been revealed with certainty. Some archaeologists, nevertheless, suggest that they were perhaps used as weapons to inflict head injuries. Moreover, skulls discovered in the same region have shown lesions that could have been inflicted by such tools. However, other theories assert rather that these strange stone balls were intended to mark the rank of a person in his community or to commemorate an important stage in his life, such as death. This would explain why the stones were found in a grave. Anyway, one thing is sure, these stones are quite fascinating. In 2003, the world was amazed by a skeleton found in the Atacama Desert in Chile, and for good reason. Nicknamed Ata, this naturally mummified skeleton measured only 15 centimeters and had 10 pairs of ribs instead of 12. And that's not all. This skeleton also has an abnormally elongated skull that evokes the Roswell creature, a face deformed by very large eye sockets and had developed bones similar to those of a six-year-old child in addition to having teeth already formed. You will have understood this skeleton had nothing usual. It was not enough to inspire the amateurs of extraterrestrial research who imagined that it could come from another planet. Unfortunately for UFOologists, scientists discovered that the DNA taken from the mummy's bone marrow was indeed that of a human and more precisely that of a girl. This first mystery solved, the researchers were then able to go deeper into the reasons why Atta has such an unusual morphology. This is how a team published new results in March 2018 in the journal Genome Research. According to them, the skeleton, which would date from a few decades at most, given the good conservation of genetic material, has many rare genetic mutations associated with dwarfism, malformations, and premature aging. However, Despite this through examination, Atta is far from giving up all its secrets. Many questions remain unanswered, so much so that some scientists are still convinced that the mummy is extraterrestrial. The search for Noah's Ark, one of the most legendary ships in human history, has made a considerable breakthrough. In fact, the cartographer Ilhan Duru Pinar had already claimed to have discovered in 1959 the location of the famous ship in the mountains of eastern Turkey, what had at the time aroused many debates. So was it a biblical relic? For the director, Sam Sertesen, who published a documentary on the subject in 2017, it is likely, and he is not the only one to think so. Archaeologist Andrew Jones and geophysicist John Larson are also of the same opinion, and to prove it, they conducted a study of the location using technology that allows you to see the underground image. The goal was to find out if a boat, corresponding to the descriptions in the Bible, was indeed inside the ground. In the end, Sam Sertesen, who plans to share the results of the study in an upcoming documentary, said, It is a ship, but it is too early to call it Noah's Ark. Therefore, nothing is quite sure yet. On the other hand, several scientists dispute these findings, claiming that it was actually just a natural rock formation. While others believe that Noah's Ark is rather located at the top of the mountain Takht e Suleiman in Iran. What is it really? In any case, we will probably find out soon. Even if they are almost three millennia old, some objects still fascinate the world. It is notably the case of the Ark of the Covenant, but don't be fooled by its name. This Ark is in fact a chest. According to the Bible, it contains the tables of the law, that is to say, the Ten Commandments, entrusted to Moses by God. Thus, because of its historical and religious importance, many people have tried to find it over the centuries, but in vain. The Ark of the Covenant cannot be found, although there are countless theories about its possible location. One theory is that the treasure is still located in the Church of Our Lady of Sion in Aksum, Ethiopia. A version of that probably has not convinced all researchers, starting with James Davila, professor at the University of St. Andrews. The latter translated for the first time an ancient Hebrew text called Treaty of the Ships, probably with the aim of finding some clues that could lead to the Ark of the Covenant. And he succeeded. The text would have revealed where the treasures of King Solomon's temple were hidden without giving their exact location. Another text called the Copper Scroll is also said to hold the secret of the location of a treasure that many researchers believe to be the Ark of the Covenant. Unfortunately, despite these numerous elements, the location of the chest remains a mystery. Under the sands of the Wadi Hitan, a valley in the Egyptian Sahara, American and Egyptian paleontologists have made a surprising discovery. They have indeed found the almost complete skeleton of a primitive whale, and more precisely, of a Basilosaurus Isis, a 40 million year old cetacean with the appearance of a sea serpent. And not just any whale, this skeleton, 18 meters long, 
is the most complete fossil of this species, according to Philip Gingrich from the University of Michigan, who directed the excavations. However, if this find is so incredible, it is mainly because this archaic whale could allow scientists to understand the reason why so many marine mammals are found in the Egyptian Sahara. Because precisely this whale, which moreover still had small legs that were no longer useful, is not the only marine animal to have been found in the Wadi Hattan. Remains of sharks, crocodiles, turtles, and several other species of whales were also discovered there. What a surprise for more than one person. In England, a house that was about to be demolished contained an extraordinary treasure in its cellar. Indeed, this house gathered an impressive collection of strange specimens, which seemed to come straight from a fantastic universe. There were several thousands of small boxes containing mysterious werewolf skeletons, vampires, dragons, fairies, and even extraterrestrials. A surprising collection which would have belonged to Thomas Theodore Maryland. The latter would have been an aristocrat and biologist in the 1800s, and who, against all expectations, would have lived no less than 160 years. And as if that wasn't enough, Alex C.F., the man in charge of the collection, claims that Thomas Theodore Maryland's journals even refer to studies on quantum mechanics or the theory of the multiverse. This had not yet been revealed at the time. Thus, many people quickly became interested in this extraordinary find which, today, is exhibited in the Maryland Cryptid Museum. So, did the mythological creatures really exist? We imagine that it is very unlikely. Now it's your turn to tell us in the comments which of these discoveries surprised you the most. And if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like, to subscribe to the channel, and to activate the bell to receive all the notifications and not miss anything of our next videos. See you tomorrow, same time, same channel for a new video.